What's going on guys? Welcome back to well, back to another video and in today's video we are brought to you guys by Keys Motorsports. I really wanted to say that for some reason. I always want to say that. But we finally got a sick banner up that actually matches the same color scheme as the i8 that actually matches my computer. Uh, fun fact. But yeah guys, so today's video we're finally installing our first mod for the i8. We actually have a lot of ideas for this car. I have so many ideas actually that it might void my warranty. But it's definitely worth it. I mean, as long as I don't do anything with the engine or transmission, I should be good because they don't cover any of the body panels anyway so if you guys don't know this is a 2016 bmw i8 this is not a 2017 18 19 but this isn't a 2014 not a 15 so basically there is absolutely no difference between i believe the 2014 and the 2020 other than one major thing and that one major thing is going to be the apple carplay this car does not have apple carplay and even the 2020s that's actually an extended option you have to kind of pay for that option but you have the option of having apple carplay for your car and other than that I think the only other difference is the fact that uh, from the 2014 to 2020 and 2016, you're able to get the laser headlights. I have the laser headlights. So pretty much after we do this mod right here from Keys Motorsports, this car is going to be basically fully spec'd out for even a 2020 year, which is going to be absolutely insane. So the mod is called, I guess, MMI Prime. This is from Beamer Tech sold through Keys Motorsports. So I'll be having the link down below. Again, don't forget to use my code for any special discounts from Keys Motorsports. It'll be helping me out a lot. Plus, you guys get a nice little discount. But yeah. Yeah, here is Apple CarPlay. It's gonna make this interior at least a lot more techy, and uh, I love, I love Google Maps, and I just really want to be able to use that in my car. I think the regular, I think all cars that infotainment systems are garbage unless like you can use your phone. Phone navigation is so nice, and you can answer phone calls and do all that stuff with this little guy right here. So I'm super stoked to install this. But at the same time, I am, I don't really know how to do it because you're supposed to open this hood here. And uh, we've never done that before. You need two people for this. I'm gonna have to call down my brother. And basically, I believe you pull down on this one, I think, little thing in here. Let me see if I can just pull it out real quick. It's kind of weird, honestly. Like, they really don't want you opening up this hood. But yeah, this is basically this thing. You just pull on it, and then it pops the hood on both sides. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yep, right there. So you basically pull this on both sides, hood will open, and then once you get the hood up, this is how much they don't want you guys to open the hood. Once you actually get the hood up, you have to have something to hold the hood up, because they there's no shocks or anything because again this hood should not be open and what's also super cool is that the hood opens like this which i've never seen before Our normal cars they open like that this car opens like this like the good old-fashioned day so uh i'm pretty stoked to see how that works all right guys this is the first time i'm ever gonna do this and i hope we don't do it wrong i really don't understand why they make it so difficult but i guess it's for the safety of us so uh let's do it all right guys <laughs> Look how crazy that looks. So basically, we got the hood open and um, we're gonna just, just make the brightness a little better here. All right guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal right there. And before actually installing this, I wish it came with an instruction manual dedicated to this car. They only have it for the F chassis, not the i8. I'm gonna be trying to make the, the most best explanational video I could possibly do. I'm probably gonna watch like 20 to 30 videos, probably spend 12 hours looking at all these videos and just try to make my own DIY for this. So um, I'm gonna probably have to gut this whole center console right here, unfortunately. Uh, but I do think that's the way you have to go about it because this is gonna be fitting like an OEM look. So you don't wanna be able to see anything. You want it to be as OEM as possible uh, so that being said let's go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal I did wait for all the lights to turn off in the car as you guys can see there's no lights whatsoever so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal Hey right, guys, now they have the battery disconnected. Let's go ahead and just start taking apart the center console. There's no videos online. Your man's just gonna have to figure it out. Well, just like the good old days, I was one of the first YouTubers to make BMW DIYs, and I guess I'm doing it on my first exotic car, man. But I mean, hey, why not? Let's just let's get it. So I finally got this thing loosened up. We're gonna have to remove the entire thing, but to this point right here, the only thing I had to do is remove the plastic grommet that was here, and there was a screw right there, one screw. And then for this little cubby door that opens and closes, that sits right here, you gotta open it, and there is one screw here, here, and here. So three in total, you pull that out, then you have two cables, pull those two cables out, and then yeah, we got one more screw right here, so four screws in total, and this whole thing should start moving. Now we're gonna go ahead and just pull this out and disconnect everything, and then we'll be able to move this portion off to the side as well, and then uh, we still have a lot more to do, but I think we're making really good progress, to be honest. Show 
show you guys where I'm at right now. So I pretty much took out all the wires that connect to everything. Uh, and then I removed four of the center console screws. There was one back here underneath the cup holder. Another one, so there's two back here. There was, again, another one right here and another one right here. So those are the four that I could see. I have a feeling there's something underneath this, so I'm just gonna have to play around with it and see uh, what's connected to this guy right here and what's underneath this cup holder. And once I figure out those two things, this whole center console should just come out. So uh, I guess we'll go back into time-lapse mode and see if we can figure this out. All right, so I figured out how to loosen up the center console. So this rear portion right there actually comes off. Uh, there's ba you basically, once you get off those two screws in the back right here, you have to just pull up on it and then you expose two more screws, one right here, one right here. I got all that out. So if you guys see, I should be able to just pull up on this. And I just gotta kinda wiggle this thing out and uh, hopefully you should be able to access the actual main system and then reach your hand up and access the cable for that screen right there. So uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so you just saw that I removed the whole center console, thank the lord. I did have to disconnect a few cables back here um, from the center armrest and then uh, all the rest of the cables pretty much just came out. Now we have to remove this system and I think it's only hold down by two screws and a bunch of cables behind it. This is what we're going to be plugging in the actual module into um, and I hope the wire just is pretty much coming down. I guess we'll find out. Let's just go ahead and remove this system here and uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, oh my god, we finally got all this gutted. Didn't think I was gonna get my new car, but actually, to be honest guys, this wasn't that bad. Like, I know it looks like a lot of work, but it's really not that bad if you guys really think about it. This took me about 35 minutes, 45 minutes after watching videos. Imagine if you guys just watch my video alone, you guys could probably get this done in like 20 minutes. Now that we are pretty much ready to go, we can start installing this stuff. We won't be needing the box anymore, thank the Lord. We're also not gonna be needing any of this since we're not actually doing any retrofits, but we are gonna be needing the USB just in case. So uh, we're gonna be routing the USB probably somewhere in the glove box. We're gonna try to do that on the i8. And then for this right here, this is the antenna. Some people just honestly put the antenna right over it. What I'm gonna do, because I don't have much plastic in this car, everything is leather, and I don't want it on my windshield because that's too noticeable. I think I'm just pretty much gonna route it to like the sidewall right here, because this is the only plastic slash like leather, but mostly plastic, so I think it'll apply to here just fine. And that's as close to the outside of the car as possible. I'll just put it somewhere up here to the top, something like this and uh, you shouldn't be able to notice that at all. And the wire will be able to tuck in perfectly right there. So let's go ahead and actually just set this up and then we're gonna go ahead and set up the, the USB towards the glove box as well. All right guys, so I have the antenna cable routed through here. Basically, all I did was take out this under carpet. I don't know if you guys can see it. So yeah, yeah there's a little carpet down here. Basically, I just pulled the carpet down routed the wire behind the airbag, and uh, pretty much brought it all the way over here, stuck it right here. I think it's a perfect spot for it. It's the only plastic on the car. You will never notice that. No cables, no nothing. Looks super clean. That's what I'm trying to get. Um, while we're also over here, I'm gonna try to figure out a way we can go uh, get the USB out into the glove box, um, just to, again, make it an OEM look. So. Let's see if we can route the USB cable now. All right, so I got the cable pretty much right down there. It goes right into that pocket, so it's not going anywhere, but it's easy to access and you can pull on it. You can push it back in from there. I think actually that's a pretty good spot because in the glove box, I don't know if you guys can see, there is nowhere and I'm not really trying to drill any holes. I want to keep this as OEM as possible. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything that will compromise the car whatsoever. So I think that's a really clean way of having it. The wire won't move at all. And if someone needs to access it, it's right down there, right next to the cigarette lighter. So I think that is super good right there, right of the cable, straight through here. And uh, at this point, let's just go ahead and plug in the module and then plug in our uh, system right here. All right, guys, so I got the screen back in there, connected the green cable that actually came with the kit into that. And then uh, basically connected the green cable back to the line out. This is the cable that went up to the screen up there. So I basically uh, plugged it right into here and the other cable is gonna go right into the actual box. I am sweating, working in cars, not the funnest thing in the world, but if this actually works and uh, I've seen videos and it looks absolutely insane and gorgeous. So if this actually works, I'm gonna, it's gonna totally be worth it. But yeah, I'm a mess. Let's go ahead, assemble all this good stuff. All right, 
guys, so <laughs> everything's fully assembled. I really hope to God this works. Yeah, so I just put a new battery in the camera and we're gonna have to connect the battery on this little puppy right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery and then uh, hope to God everything is gravy in the Navy. We're gonna make sure the LED works, the LED lights all work. We're gonna make sure the gear shifter and everything, the, the, the volume switches, we're gonna click every single button, make sure every single thing works. And then obviously test out the sound because we did play with the, high, uh, the fiber optic cables, make sure the sound is good. And then after all of that, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the actual uh, MMI system is working. So we have Apple CarPlay. So the installation is 100% complete, guys. I'm pretty stoked for this. I'm gonna sit down the hood, but just not yet. Let's just connect the battery and hop inside. All right, guys, moment of truth. Okay, so far, so good. We can see all the LED lights are working. It's saying right here, front compartment lid open. Okay, that's not a big deal. I thought that was like another air. Wow, it is so blue in here all of a sudden. I never thought that actually lights up blue. That is crazy. All right, well, this is all lit up right now. That looks good. That's also working. These lights are working. None of these are actually working right now. Let's see if that makes a difference when we start up the car. Okay, speakers are working. All right, so speakers are working. It is throwing a couple other errors because we have the hood open. That's a major problem. So it left the parking brake on, which means also the parking brake looks like it is working, which is really good. This also looks like it's working the infotainment screen, which is perfect. If we hold down the parking button, all right, that's good to go. The doors are open, so that's why that's not showing up. Okay, well, I mean, all these must, these are all connected to the same switch. Uh, this button, well, I just powered it on. That's connected to the same switch. The gear shifter seems to be working. Uh, how about the AC controls? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, the car keeps shutting off. I don't know if it's because of the hood, so let's go ahead and just put down the hood real quick. Okay, all right, all right. So the hood is closed now. Let's go ahead and start up the car. Okay, we do a parking light traction. Oh, nope. Service due in 0623, doors are open. So yeah, let's go ahead and just close the doors. Woo, I'm getting scared every second, guys. All right, guys, both doors are closed now. No beeping sounds, let's turn on the car. Okay, I'm gonna let my foot off the brake. Please do not go an accessory. Okay, car is still on, that is good. So that means everything looks to be fine. I'm gonna take it off the parking brake. No lights on the dash. Everything here seems to be working, thankfully. Um, I even hooked these guys up so I know those are working. I hooked up that, so that is working. So everything seems to be working perfectly. Now we're just gonna go ahead and see how do we actually activate this. I was watching a YouTube video, I didn't get how, why the uh, the Apple CarPlay wasn't working. I don't wanna show you guys just yet. Um, it turns out you need to plug it in first, then you're able to actually, it gives you an option, enable wireless CarPlay. So I'm gonna enable it, and then bada bing, bada bang. Look at that, check that out. So, we finally have Apple CarPlay, which looks so freaking good. Our music's there, our phone calls, our maps. So we can literally pull up the actual, like the maps on our phone. Like that, this maps is the best of the best. And we can finally start using this instead of our phone. We can literally plug in our phone, charge it, it charges our phone. We can put it in the cubby and we can use this for music, Spotify, navigation, all the good stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to click back, back, check that out. Even have our music right there. Oh my God, what? There are my text messages. <laughs> Our settings, Spotify, you're kidding. Oh my God. Yeah, Discover Weekly, that's my playlist. I don't have to pull out my phone anymore. Oh, this car just leveled up, boys. No way, dude. Oh my God, this is so sick. I would never break for you because of all times. Guys, I'm out Del Taco. I wanted to just drive the car and get a nice coffee, but just look at this. It is so sick. Go ahead and just go back over here. Look at that. Even shows you the song you're playing, which I'm actually gonna reduce the volume so I don't get copyrighted, because you may as not try to get copyrighted, you know what I'm saying? But you can change the song so you can see the artist, the name, and all that good stuff. And when you click menu again, you can go through all the apps, you can send messages and all that stuff. Look at this, look at this. I mean, it even has Zoom. This is a flagship BMW, and I and just one of those things, I'm like, why didn't it come with it? Like, Apple CarPlay started coming out, with, I think, in 2019 for the i8, and it should have been there, because I'm pretty sure Apple CarPlay came out like two or three years ago, so it should have been there since the 2016 or 17. So 
it is what it is but shout out to keys motorsports they got the system and it works like oem all you gotta do is hold the back button and it automatically enters this menu and then you hold it again and it exits this menu and i have it all wirelessly done you do have to connect your phone manually at first but then you click accept and then bam it's always wireless from here on out which is super sick oh my god the car literally feels like a whole nother car with this infotainment system it feels so much better it looks so much better the quality guys even the navigation makes you feel like it's like it's, it's your phone it's literally your phone but on a bigger screen you can't beat it any anyway, i'm gonna go ahead and uh get my iced coffee call it a night this is the first mod and definitely not the last but we got a lot more mods coming in for the i8 and i'm gonna be doing a whole lot more drives and i'm planning on doing a car meet i want you guys to let me know down below i'm gonna be putting a comment down below and if we can get 300 likes on that comment down below that you guys want me to host a car meet then i'll be hosting a car meet for you guys so without further ado guys i love you all so much make sure you smash the like button like that comment down below if you guys are trying to attend that car meet without further ado guys remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i want to be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together insert because i want to have worth